Jeremy Summers and I'm here to rec uh, do a reaction video. Um, the video I'm going to be reacting to today is 10 Scary Halloween Encounters by YouTubers. This video is by Chills. He is an amazing YouTuber. If you're not subscribed to him and you like scary videos, why are you not subscribed to him? He's probably, for me, the best uh, scary YouTube channel on YouTube that I have seen. I mean, I haven't seen all the scary channel, uh, scary YouTube channels on YouTube, but for the ones I have seen, his is the best. So yeah, um, I uh, sorry if it's been so long since I've done a reaction video. I just I've not been well. I've been on holiday. You know, I just not had much time. Um, so yeah. Um, Without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, the link to the original video will be in the description down below. And if you want more reaction videos like this from me, or perhaps WWE reviews, I don't know if I'm going to continue them, but uh, hit the subscription button down below. Okay, here we go. Ooh, my phone's falling over. Halloween is a time when the barriers between our world and the spirit realm are thought to be the thinnest, meaning you never know what you might encounter. Number 10, two friends sneak into a large abandoned house in Sellersburg, Indiana and take a look around. Well, I, they I don't, don't go into much it. detail about the local legends aside from mentioning this place has a long haunted history that dates back three decades. I don't get people that go into abandoned houses or abandoned, abandoned asylums. I mean, what, you know, what are they expecting? Honestly, I don't get it. So they should be ready for anything. Most of the rooms are littered with nothing but rotting garbage, but a couple spaces look to be somewhat organized and even have furniture. So they start calling out to anyone who might be inside. Hello? Is anybody here? It isn't long before someone hears their calls and silently responds. Dude, this is creepy. Oh my god, get the f out! Get the f out! Oh my god! Oh my god. A tall figure That's wearing scary. a Michael Myers mask passes by the doorway without a sound. Obviously, Michael Myers is a Hollywood legend and not a real person, but that doesn't mean there isn't someone who idolizes him a little too much. This could be a fake video, or maybe this is an imitator who dresses like this to keep intruders out of their home, in which case that blade might be real. Number 9, That's Brazilian crazy. YouTuber Barone TV published this video close to Halloween in 2015. In it, he dressed as a creepy clown and was looking to scare some unsuspecting people. After a few successful scares, he creeps up on a man walking on a dimly lit path. This stranger immediately pulls out a weapon and Barone TV puts his hands up in the air. <laughs> If you speak Portuguese, please let me know what is said here. It's a risk of doing these kind of things. Barone TV falls down onto his knees, and I'm assuming he is trying to tell the man it is just a prank, but I don't know for sure. The stranger says something back to him before hastily walking away. This just goes to show it's not always the wisest decision to scare unsuspecting people. Number 8. A YouTuber named Davey Dustin has a channel that is all gameplay videos, except for this one. This is when he and his friend decide to explore no less than four old abandoned houses in the spirit of Halloween. Most of the houses are a little more than a series of rusted out rooms. But the final house feels way off. They the feel out of place almost as soon as they step in, but they manage to get through a locked door and keep going. Almost immediately, they notice broken glass on the floor stained in red. Is that blood? They continue to find more red stains in other rooms and debate whether this is paint or something Ooh. else more sinister. Orbs are circling all around them now as they investigate deeper into the house. Something is very wrong in this section and they can feel it. Eventually, they discovered a tattered old photograph of a family. It looks to be at least 20 years old, if not more. Maybe they used to live here, and if so, perhaps the red substance on the floor used to belong to them. Things only get worse upon reaching the basement. 
where a mysterious hole in the wall gives them both a dreadful feeling. A single white tennis shoe is laying just outside the hole, forgotten long ago until this very moment. Maybe the other shoe is buried in the hole, still attached to its owner. Number 7. A YouTuber That's named cool. Michael D. McGee believes he serves as a spiritual channel for two ghosts named <coughs> and Anna. He has been testing his spiritual properties for a long time now and decides to conduct an experiment on Halloween to see if it will enhance the bond they have formed together. To do this, he sets up an Xbox Connect to a special software and begins to meditate. It isn't long before he hears something quietly enter the room with him. Michael D. McGee seems comforted at their presence instead of alarmed, at least at first. After a while, he begins to worry that there are other spirits besides Daniel and Anna with him, and questions their intent. He moves the experiment to a different room and eventually picks up the small frame of a child on Connect. The figure is able to raise its right hand when asked and then disappears. Based on what you've seen here, tell me if you think this video is real, or if he simply got a real person to sit next to him for the Connect shots. I will say that Michael D. McGee frequently switches between the Kinect and the regular camera to show that this is all real. So faking all of that is highly unlikely. That is, uh, Number 6. That's this freaky. video wasn't posted by an individual YouTuber, but it is too important to not talk about. A young girl in Kansas finds something okay, horrible metal. inside of her Snickers bar and shows her mother who decides to contact the news. I really didn't get a chance to, like, break through it. A sharp black metal pen stuck in a bite-sized snicker. The trap would have probably worked if not for the wise words of her mother earlier. I teach them, do not eat no candy till they get home. And when they get home, you break through your candy. And that's what she did. Although cases like this are rare, it is always wise to exercise a moderate amount of caution when accepting yeah. anything from strangers. Oh including when trick-or-treating number five it's halloween so a youtuber named claw boss and his friend okay. decide to play with a ouija board and contact the i don't this is another thing i don't get people i don't get people that explore abandoned houses and hotels and asylums i don't think i don't get it's people that play with fucking ouija boards what do they fucking expect when fucking spirits come through and all that shit what do they actually fucking expect to happen? No. At first, they aren't sure if it's even working. It's ridiculous. But eventually, they manage to contact a variety of spirits over the course of 40 minutes, including a 17-year-old teenager. The spirit says that it can read their minds and proves this by spelling out an inside joke. If you guys to Harris, swear to God. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're... you're <laughs> this is a joke. Come this on. is not The ghost says its name is Harry, which is something that only Claw Boss and his friend would think was funny. But when they ask the ghost to reveal more information about how it passed away, the conversation suddenly grows serious. It's really tight all of a sudden. Loose it up and tell us did you die recently? Claw Boss finds himself unable to move the pointer. And the camera shuts itself off even though there are 40 minutes of battery life left. They even record the first video with a second camera to show that the video really ended on its own. I guess Claw Boss could have simply turned the camera off himself. If both of Claw Boss's hands were still on the pointer, when the camera shut off, then I would have little trouble fully believing this video. Number 4 Brett Hankins is taking a Halloween hike through the Indiana wilderness when he spots something lurking low to the ground in the brush below. At first, he isn't sure if it's just a native coyote, which doesn't bother him much because they usually tend to leave humans alone. But then he zooms in and realizes that this is probably a large wolf on the prowl, which is a different situation entirely. Wolf or not, watch how easily this animal blends into its natural surroundings. It would have been all too easy for Brett to have casually stumbled onto the predator's hiding spot by accident. And by that time, it's probably already too late to get away. And let's not forget if there's one nearby. There's probably a whole pack somewhere close. With that said, I'm not positive if this is a wolf or not. So maybe someone can help me decide. 
Number three. The University of Texas once lost a hundred human brains. The brains which were acquired in the 80s for scientific research sat in jars of formaldehyde in the basement for over 30 years. Decades later, the school decides to move them to a different part of campus, only to find most of them were missing. What's even more bizarre is that all of these brains were donated from an old Texas asylum. Among them was the brain of Charles Whitman, who in 1966 ended the lives of a dozen university students after taking aim from a tower no one knows what happened to them for sure but according to rumors students were taking them every year to use as props for halloween parties the main point is that the minds of over a hundred inmates have gone missing and no one knows what is currently being done with them number two Another case of tampered candy that needs to be talked about. You should be extra careful about trick-or-treating this year if you live anywhere in Ohio. That's because a sickening piece of Halloween candy was given in not one but two different towns. The first incident happened in the township of Madison. When Andrea Clampett feels something <coughs> sticking through the wrapper of her <coughs> kid's Kit Kat bar. I yelled for my husband. He came and checked it out. And he opened it up and he broke the candy bar in half and then there was a needle sticking outside that candy bar. This sewing needle was apparently found deeply embedded in the chocolate tree, just waiting to be bitten into. Thankfully, Andrea was able to intervene before any of her children had a chance to put the sharp object anywhere near their mouths. Meanwhile, in the what city of Columbus, a mother and her five-year-old what, what child had a similar goal? What encounter, they actually want to but do? this time, according to law enforcement yeah, officials, the trap wasn't it's not gonna early kill enough. Them. Why her child was actually if they well actually if they ingest it it goes into the stomach it fucks it kill them that way but if it just uh, pierces their lip or pierces their gum or whatever it's not going to kill them and here's a pic- this I don't dangerous know. metal staple is what he bit into I can't find out exactly what happened to him as a result but it's sad to think that somebody would actually put this into a piece of candy with the hopes of obstructing a child's airway as far as I was able to research nobody has been caught whether they decide to do it again this year is yet to be determined. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious oh, about what I look like in real life, oh, you can go to my you, Instagram at like Dylan is Chillin YT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a new song called Dreamland. Please let me know if you think my music is improving or not. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my new song to give it a listen. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number one, (coughs) The Haunted Hub is a YouTube channel that posts full paranormal investigations taken throughout England. This time, they find themselves in a Victorian hospital called Mm. Thackeray where starvation beatings and other extreme punishments were the norm. As the night progresses, they find themselves communicating with the spirit of a nun. One member holds a cross in front of him, and they all watch in amazement as orbs seem to follow wherever he goes. I usually don't think much of orbs because they could just be specks of dust. But I will admit that the timing of these orbs is often uncanny. The lady's here, Lord Speaker. I've got a cross in my hand. Does that offend you or does that make you happy? Come speak with us, please. It really looks like they can see the orbs too. Like during this part, for example. First you see the orb. Then moments later, the man on the left turns around and appears to see something too. Moments like this one happen throughout the video. And makes me think all of this is real. They also pick up some really weird noises on their spirit box. This This part sounds like something from another world trying to speak in human tongues. And tell me if this sounds like a spirit who is asking for help. YouTube is not going to disappear. Well, um... That video was fucked, but I, I expected as, as much. Um, 
I, as I said, I don't get people that explore abandoned asylums or abandoned houses or hotels, whatever. Uh, and I don't get people that explore haunted houses or whatever. And I don't get people that fucking play with Ouija boards. People that play with Ouija boards must be fucking thick in the head to fucking do it. I mean, most people do it for a video. And, um, oh, sorry for that. Uh, stuff that annoyed. Uh, yeah, most people do it for a video and for views. I wouldn't even do that for views. I mean, it, I could easily buy a Ouija board online, get it set up, and try and do something for for a video, but I'm not willing to do it, just in case. Because my granddad died in the, in, in the room just next to me. Although, I'd love to see my granddad again, and I'd love to talk to him again. I don't think I'd be able to cope if, if he actually came through and started talking to me as a spirit. I, I, I would be too freaked out. So, no. I would never do that, not even for views. Um, nah, wouldn't happen. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I actually did enjoy this video, but I love uh, Chill's videos. Um, he, as I said, he, his channel is amazing. You should really go and subscribe to him. The link to original video will be in... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The link to original video will, will be in the description down below. And if you want more reaction videos like this from me, or you want... Um, uh, possible future WWE reviews if I decide to do more uh, please click the subscription button down below and I'll see you in the next video bye bye